folks, this is Margie Roy from 3dcuts.com and today I'm doing the video tutorial for my Christmas star Christmas card. This is a, a strong graphic design with a classic symbol that's incredibly easy to make using your cutting machine. Let's get started. Before we begin, I want you to be sure to go to my website at the address shown on the screen. There you will find additional information about the materials I use, the actual sizes of these particular pieces, and any hints that I may have forgotten to include in the video tutorial. Always look online for some quick hints when you do one of my projects. This card is designed to fit in a standard six by nine booklet envelope, like so. I'm also including the files for making your own envelope in the download in case you do want to make your own. If you're only making one card, then it's sometimes easier to make your own envelope. Let's get started in making this card. I've already cut out my pieces and there is the most complex piece, which is the white piece, and it has the half stars cut out on it with some dotted lines. There are two background rectangles, and there is the insert on the inside. Now, I have done a print and cut with a um, sentiment here. If you don't want to use print and cut, it is fine just to cut a rectangle. I'll put the exact measurements uh, on the website, and you can stamp or handwrite your own sentiment here. You don't have to use print and cut if you don't want to. Now, to get started, we'll start with the white piece and we will fold it in half, like so, along the dotted fold line. Now, we will open it. We will take one of these rectangles. We will put glue on it. I'm using here Art Glitter Glue. It is my uh, glue of choice when applying by hand. If I were making a lot of these cards, I would probably set up my spray booth and spray glue the back of these pieces to make this all go faster. But if I'm just making a few, it's not worth that time. This one gets glued right up against this folded line. I center it between the top and the bottom and it's right on this dotted line, maybe a hair back from it. I can now take the most outside star and fold that back right against this edge, like so. Crease the top and the bottom. I do not fold the next star. I skip that and I get the third star that one folds back. There are dotted fold lines there, but I use the edge of the red rectangle too. And then the inside star. So there are two that are left on this right side and three that get folded back. Now the next rectangle is going to go under these like so. I can't put glue over the whole thing because there is this open space in the back. So instead, I'm going to put the glue on the white side. It has to stay below this, in by a good quarter, maybe three-eighths of an inch on this side, above this, and around the star. Now, make sure the stars get lifted. This gets slid under all of them, right up against the other red one, and align your tops and bottoms, and then press in place. Art Glitter Glue does dry clear, so I can just wipe off those little extras. Look on the back side, yep, all good. <clears throat> now, this card will fold back like so, over like so, and open like this. 
this last piece gets glued on the inside, right in here. The placement is up against the dotted fold line. Again, this one could be done with spray glue or if you're just making one or two by hand. And then I've included a star, which I cut out of gold paper. A little glue on that. And there we go. Just a stunning graphic geometric card that stands beautifully as a display card. I have included with the download an envelope, which when finished will be um, eight and a half by five and three quarters. It's a little bit smaller than the six by nine. It fits this perfectly. Uh, and if you're only making one, you don't want to buy a whole pack. So this is included in the download. To put it together, you fold on the dotted score lines. A little glue in this corner, a little glue in this corner. Glue it up. This one is going to go on here. I'm going to put the glue on these edges in just about an eighth of an inch. And I will glue this on top. And now we have an envelope that fits this card perfectly. Careful loading it in that you don't fold up the star. There we go. Time to get going. I have 39 more to make. Happy holidays, everyone. Have fun crafting. Thanks for watching. Every year I send out handmade Christmas cards. I have for decades, and many of them were designed and made on my Silhouette cutting machine. Many of these are available online at 3dcuts.com. Click on the store and go to the Christmas area. Have fun crafting!